If I die, so does the final Aeon. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool. There is no other way. Even if there was, even if you did destroy Sin, you, Yevon, the Immortal, would only create Sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah, Zeon, forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. Notice we didn't send her. There are times in this game where pe the dead people who really can't die just run. Like once Unaleska realizes that all hope is gone, she's just like, I'm out. No point in staying around. I cannot believe what we just did. Let's do something more unbelievable. What? Destroy sin so it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet. But I'll find out. Now, if I remember correctly, is there something down? Oh, I don't really need this because I'm not doing the ultimate weapons, but hey. Weird thing is, if you do this again, you come back here, right? It's all, it's all like mystical. But then in 10-2, when you go down there, it's an actual like ruin cave thing that you run around in. <laughs> Plot hole. Well, and I've been screaming about two hours. Not bad timing. We must talk. What? There's something you should know. I know. It's about you, right? I am also an unsent. <gasps> Shocking. You were not surprised. I think I kind of knew. It was Unaleska, wasn't it? When Braska and Jekt died defeating Sin, I just couldn't accept it. I came back here, tried to avenge them. But she struck me down. Somehow I made my way, crawling down Mount Gagazette. But my strength left me, just outside Bevel. That's where Kamari found me. I told him about Yuna, just before I died. I've been wandering ever since, never going to the far plain. Arin. Don't make that face. Being dead has its advantages. I was able to ride Sin and go to your Xanarkand. And... You've been watching over me since then, haven't you? Why? What's the big idea? Why me? It is one of those things that is difficult to explain. Very well, I will show you. Uh. Now here's an interesting little thing that's never been done in the game. My memories. But... Nice little trick to be, uh, when you're dead. You can, like, show your memories. Can I ask you one last favor? Uh... Nah, never mind. Out with it. Okay, listen good. Take care of my son. <sighs> my son in Xanarkand. He's such a crybaby. He needs someone there to hold his hand, see? Take care of him, will you? But how am I supposed to go to Xanarkand? <laughs> hey, you said it yourself. There must be a way to get there, right? You'll find it. Uh, all right. I will. I give you my word. I'll take care of your son. I'll guard him with my life. Thanks, Oren. You were always such a stiff. But that's what I liked about you. 
Yeah, he was just fulfilling a promise. That is why. And once again, Jet showing that he does care about Titus in his own way. He just can't really show it. All right. I've actually made pretty good timing. I didn't think I would do that. Of course, I thought I would just wipe a couple times. I remember that Unaleska fight being hard, but honestly, as long as you're leveled properly, it's not that bad. So, I pretty much said that I would stop pretty much around here, like when Blitzball becomes a thing again. But there might be something I have to do before that, so I'm going to keep going. Oh, oh no. I'm at a, I'm just I'm in a studio now. What's happening? <laughs> I'm in a world of green. Once again, it's doing that stupid glitch thing that does it on the PC Damn. version. I know. The final summoning's gone. But I'll think of something. Just give me a little more time. <laughs> Apparently his dad is a green screen. Let me explain what's happening. It's Sin right outside Xanarkand. And then the airship flies right by and then picks us up. Yeah, this is a it's a glitch with the PC version. I thought it was the mod, but it's not. I tried fixing it. I tried multiple ways of like doing settings and stuff, like running it as administrator, all that. It just doesn't work. Which is unfortunate. But yeah, this scene is just Sin was sitting outside just waiting for him. It shows you that Jack is still in control a little bit. And that sound was the airship flying by him. Hey, Sid. You're one of my favorite Sids. Well, I guess every Sid's good. Happy looking bunch. Frana, Frana. Where? Where? That all you can say? Why don't you think of something? Well, any good ideas? Come on, help us. What do we know? Sin is Jet. Thus, you have a link, a bond with Sin. That may be our key. So, what do we do? We think, and we wait. Two things I'm bad at. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, that is right, right, isn't it? The Sid in uh, Final Fantasy XII was actually kind of a bad guy. Is there any other Sid that was, wasn't a good guy? Okay, weird GoPro there. Or a uh, selfie stick. Okay. This is kind of awkward. I actually don't remember the SIDs from uh, 2, 3, 5, uh, 6. Oh, sad Sid. It is his niece, I think. Isn't it his niece? Yeah. Come on, Kamari, let's go think. Ooh, Say Spheres can now teleport you back to the airship thanks to Rin the... Thanks to Rin the Albed? I, I know that makes sense, but it doesn't sound right. Uh, oh, look, Blitzball! Blitzball! But I don't have free roam yet. I've got a lot of talking to do. Look, it's like Mass Effect. I'm going to talk to everyone on the ship. Mm, uh, still think 
thinking. So much for the final Aeon solving everything. So much for the final... Yeah, well, Waka, we killed it. It's gone. <laughs> It wasn't a it wasn't a it wasn't a solution anyway. It was a temporary you know, stupid thing. We need to sit and think this through. There has to be a way. We'll wait till you think of a plan. Get that noggin working. Get that noggin working. That'd be an interesting question. Like when I ask like who your favorite Mass Effect teammate is and all that stuff. I wonder, like, who, who is everyone's favorite Sid? I seriously doubt there's more than, like, three or four answers on that one. Rush this, and we'll lose everything. We need to plan carefully. I kind of like this Sid. But the thing is, Sid from Seven gets so much more screen time because he's literally in your party. That's kind of cheating. Uh, that's, no, that's where the Albed team is that gave me my only loss. When I played Blitzball, get off my ship. May I help you? Thank you. Oh, you uh oh, the best part of the stream. Item management. All right, magic plus five percent on Orin. Yeah, good idea. Zombie touch is kind of cool, but I'd rather go with this. Uh, well, I'm sticking with Brotherhood. And HP plus 10% with three empty slots. I don't have anything great to put on it. MP plus 20% means more, uh, more hastes. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this on. Uh, MP plus 20%. Yeah, that, I'm not going to be able to beat that. And this, I've had, I've had this... This is the cool thing about weapons in some games. You know, some games, the weapons become obsolete pretty early. In this game, they never are. I've had this weapon forever, and it's still decent. And that's also really good, too. Especially since I made him into a magic user. Of course, this is cool, too. Half MP cost. I'll probably keep both. You know, it's like a spam build versus a damage build. Yeah, he is a jerk. He, he is a jerk. Eight's like a nice father figure. Unfortunately, the first SIDs are kind of like always engineers and <clears throat> it's kind of there. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This is still really good, but I think I might finally retire it. I'm going to put some stuff on this one. Same thing with these. I've reached a part of the game where a lot of enemies are going to be immune to Stone Touch. It might be better to give her some Magic Plus stuff. Except nothing... If I had, like, Magic Plus 10%, I'd give it to her. These aren't really worth it. Uh, yeah. I'll put stuff on this. Strength, 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 and magic. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, I know the one in four. I know the one in eight. Do not know the one in 14. Uh, let's see. HP plus 10% and defense plus 3%. This is still going to be useful, but I need to think of what weapon to give him in boss fights. This, I don't think Evade really works well in boss fights, so... I'll probably hang on to one of these and make it a boss fight one. Defense, defense, and magic defense, that's not bad. Alright, well that was pretty painless. Of course, now I'm going to sort and customize, see what I got. I have three blank slots with HP plus 10%. I can do stupid SOS stuff. I'm not d wasting that on that. Uh, we'll do that. That. And... I am really low on ethers. 
I guess that's it for now. I don't want to... Hmm. And b because I didn't do the monster arena stuff, I'm very low on items. Like, I'm very limited on items in this playthrough. If you do the monster arena all the way through, it's ridiculous. And yes, I'm going to. That is like one of the few things I'm doing in this game that's not main quest. I'm getting the two Aeons I'm missing. I already did, I already streamed the Chocobo race. I'm surprised it only lasted seven, seven tries. I'm not doing the final weapons. Because I, I finally want to play through the end game and not be super overpowered. That's why I didn't touch the monster arena. There is one more thing I'm going to stream, though. I'm going to stream the Remium... I might stream the Remium Temple Chocobo race. I hate that thing. I hate it even more than the other race. But it gives you good items. So I might try that out. And I still have that bonus save on the Xbox. Of uh, where I can fight the Dark Aeons. That'll be fun. Okay. No, 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 yes. This is for Kimari, so I don't care that much. <laughs> Sorry, Kimari. I'll leave that alone for now. Oh yeah, I was going to make one of these my boss fighter. I'll just go with the evade encounter. It might work, it might not. But 5% isn't much better than nothing, so... Once again, I'm just going to go with some standard stuff that's cheap. I do love the customization options in this game, though. I think it was a very nice thing to add. I mean, at one point in the game, I spent a long time just farming for, like, four slot items and getting items, and... I, know, I, I like this aspect. I like that aspect of the game a lot. Welcome. Welcome. And now I get to make some money. Ooh, look at oh, look how expensive that is. Zombie strike's pretty cool. But I don't find it that useful. Because if they become zombified, what does that mean? They can't cure themselves? I guess that means Yuna can contribute in DPS if she wants. That's about all it means. I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna keep that. That's his non-brotherhood weapon. Uh, da, da, da. Nope. I really like the license board. I like the license board in the new version. In the old one, it was too similar. It was like the sphere grid. Everyone had the same thing. When I played on play PlayStation 2, I maxed everyone out. Everyone was the same. I love the added effect of the classes in uh, in 12. I love that you can choose them for each person. You can do a combination of the two. When you combine certain classes, it lets you get certain abilities. That A guide is nice for that, by the way. Also, in the new version, you can, uh, you can respec. In the first version, the Zodiac version, you could not respec. But on the new one, you can. So you can, and it gives you all your stuff back. You can, you can even respect the summons. So you can try out different builds. The other version that came out on the PS4, you can't do that. So it was it was permanent. I love that you can uh, respect now. Ooh, I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep that too, just in case. Yeah, be careful in this, because there's no buyback option, I don't think, so. Yeah, there's no buyback in this. So if you sell something, it's gone. Hmm. I kind of like the HP better. Noxious Kate Sith. Quiet Kate Sith. And like a lot of people who play these kind of games, who doesn't like a class system? I love tactics. Final Fantasy V has a great system. I don't like V that much because of the uh, of the story and the characters. They're not, you know, they're they're okay. I think there's way too. I think they put a little too much humor into it. 
But other than that, I mean, the, the combat's great. I love the system. Thank you. You're... And the new version of 3, Rinse. you know, they made some of the classes better. They balanced it better. Never did beat it, though. The only Final Fantasies I've never beaten, 3 and 5. Ooh, I can buy Albed Potion from him. Uh, buy some of these just in case. Yes, please, Phoenix down. Oh, I can buy remedies. I completely forgot you can actually buy these things. They're expensive. But hey, I got some money. I was worried about nothing. I also kind of want to play, uh, with, since they announced Bravely Default 2, I kind of want to play Bravely Default. I got like halfway through and stopped. I kind of want to try it again. Bravely Default 2 was like, is what if, you know, if you want to have a new Final Fantasy game that's like 5 and 3 with that, that's what you get. And it's, it's actually pretty good. Unfortunately, it's on the DS. <laughs> but. Thank you. I'm not a huge fan when games like that come out and they're stuck on handheld systems. Like Final Fantasy Tactics War of the Lion. I really, really, really wish they would re-release it. Like they did all the other Final Fantasies on Xbox and Switch. Yeah. Well, in this game, it's almost the same as well, except the, the only thing that differentiates them are those hidden stats in the game. Like how Yuna and Lulu can't do max damage even though they're max stat max attack. There's some hidden thing in there somewhere. But also because they're overdrives. Seven's the same way though. The one that thing that differentiates the characters in seven in game are their limit breaks. And just like in this game, it makes characters better than others. Like Cloud and Sid ha and having two really good ones. It's like in this. Titus is good. Waka's good. Riku's really good for support. Oh, well. <laughs> I also never played uh, Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. I, I played the first one for a bit and that that's it. I just wasn't having fun with it. It wasn't the same. They're still thinking. I'm no good. At all. What are you talking about? All this time I've been thinking about how to defeat Sin. But I... Beyond the teachings of Yevon... I... I know nothing. I'm sorry. Yuna, no apologies. But... Apology is running. Yuna never run away. <laughs> Thank you, Kamari. So, uh, Kamari, you got any good ideas? Yevin's teachings. The teachings won't help us fight sin. No answer in the teachings. Answers lie outside. Must know both sides to find answer. Both sides. Micah knows much. Find him, make him talk. That's it, Kimari. You run. That was really aggressive sounding. <clears throat> like, make him talk. Kimari might be small for Aronso, but he's still bigger than us. Although Mike is dead, so <laughs> I don't think he's gonna be that intimidated. Rush this and we'll. Hey guys, I just had a great idea. It was my idea. Let me tell them. It's like this, yeah? I just thought. The hymn's the key. Ah! Spoiler. The hymn? Sir Jack likes the hymn of the faith, correct? Yeah. That's why he was listening to it in Makalania. Sin, violence incarnate, listening peacefully. Uh, I know it's you, old man, and I don't mean no disrespect, but... No, it's fine. I've gotten used to it. Let me say it. 
If we attack Sin head on, we've little chance of winning. However, if he hears the hymn of the faith, he will become docile. Yeah, and that's when we make our move. Uh, might be against the rules and all, but who's keeping track, yeah? Yeah? Yeah, it could really work. Yeah, yeah, it's worth a try. Um, hmm. Honestly, probably Kafka. <laughs> Kafka's just nuts. And he enjoys killing people. And now we've reached the part of the game I was trying to get to for a while. This is where you have free roam, pretty much. And I can get my Blitzball team together. Which I will be doing. My next Final Fantasy uh, 10 stream will be my Blitzball recruitment stream. That's going to be an interesting stream. <laughs> I need to find that file that has all my backstory for the characters. But, um, I could stop here. But since I decided I was going to make my Friday and Saturday streams a little longer, I think I might try to get the two Aeons I'm missing before I do that. Unfortunately, the fight at at the Baj Temple, unless you have Stone Ward or Stone Proof equipment, it's kind of a no-win situation. And I don't have any. I would take Ward at this point, but unfortunately, I don't think I, I don't know. The only way to get the petrified grenades needed is the battle arena. So in, in le if I don't do that, I don't know how I'm going to beat that boss. Because if he petrifies someone, they're gone permanently. So I have no idea how to beat that boss without stone. Maybe there's a maybe there's a shop that has stone ward armor. But there's not that many shops in this game. So I'm not sure how to beat him. It really was my idea, you know. I got a good feeling about this. Well, that sounds like a plan to me. Our baby here will take us anywhere we want. Want. Yeah, I'm a little worried about the Baj Temple. Also, I don't remember where it is. <laughs> Uh, I know Baj is an island somewhere. I do not remember where it is, though. Oh, well, there's Besaid. Alright, there's Besaid. Baj... Oh boy, I do not remember. Oh, well, that's, uh, Bikinel Island. Where is Baj Temple? Uh, is it in one of these things? Oh, this is going to be an issue. Yeah, it, when I heard of that Bradley second game, I, it, the way it was described, it made me think of a prequel. I could be wrong. I don't know where I don't know where Bosch Temple is. Where are you, Bosch Temple? See, this is how you search, isn't it? Just uh, just press just press the button everywhere. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, but if is it a sequel? Cuz what why why call it Bravely Default 2 when there's another one called Bravely Second. So there's Bravely Second and Bravely Default 2. Okay, I don't think I'm going to be able to find this by just doing this. Yeah, but why why call both of them the second one? I don't know where it is. Just press in a button. Oh, well, that was luck. There's me in. If I knew where Luca was, I could try to guess where it is because you wash up. 
Well, not Luca. Um, well, actually, wait. The Sade's here. You wash up from Baj Temple. You would think that Baj Temple would be close to here, right? Oh, there's a battle site. I don't know where it is. Well then, <laughs> here's a stream where I just press a button until I find it. Oh, oh, wow, I just got super lucky. Well, there you go. Oh, cool, I found it as you put in the coordinates. <laughs> Thank you, though. This is going to be bad. Like, there's no way I'm going to win this fight. I have no one with Stoneproof on. He's going to kill me. I don't even know why I'm trying. Also, I can't do the cheese and summon. So this is, is going to be bad. I might just have to... Like do some level grind stuff off camera and try maybe to find somewhere to find the things to give me at least stone ward. I'll take that. Because without that, without that stone ward or stone proof, this fight's pretty much impossible. Where was I going? Oh, going up this way. I actually don't think I found anything with stone stuff on. Even if I can find a place that has enemies drop it rarely, then I'll do that. I'll watch some Netflix or something and <laughs> just go to that area in the airship and then just farm it. Of course, the downside of it is I'm going to have to hopefully get it for either Waka, Riku, or Titus. So that's going to be fun. If I remember, I don't even know if this is true or not. I found that if I had someone in the party, I was more likely to get a weapon or armor drop for them. I have no idea if that's true or not. Maybe it's a superstitious thing that I have, but I I could have sworn I was it was more likely. Welp, here goes a fail attempt. Maybe I'll get super lucky and won't get destroyed. But again, if I fail this horribly, I will just level grind and uh, grind for those items later. I mean, there's there's several areas in Spira that have, uh, like, the Basilisk kind of guys. So I can probably get them to drop it. Payback time. Sort of. Maybe. What's up? Something here? I almost got eaten by a fiend here. Payback time. I get the picture. All right, let's go. Yeah, but it'll be more for a grind for items uh, rather than a grind for XP. Also, I have no one with piercing. That's another thing. Not only did, not only... Um, Riku is pretty much useless because she has no magic. Uh, and no one has piercing, which means physical attacks suck. And I just sold all my stuff, so I can't even make one real quick. Good idea, me. Well, this is going to be stupid to have on. Well, since I already saved it, let's have, let's, let me try something. I'm going to give Riku some magic through the use of Black Magic Sphere. Now, this is a fish. You would imagine that its weakness would be Thundaga. So at least if I should I should give Thundaga to all three of them and just 
and just spam magic. It'd be like it'd be like my version of shiny hunting. So Titus is gonna cast haste, and Riku is gonna go crazy with magic, and Waka is gonna be there. Here goes nothing. You know, I wonder if there's anything I can mix. I wonder if there's anything I, I don't have the items probably that would protect against status effects. I don't think there is. Well, hey, I can do this. Watch it do nothing. That wasn't great. Hey, it didn't work. That's a that's a plus. This is going to be probably a pointless long fight. Or it might be really short. Who knows? Look at her kick. I love in this game the haste animation. It, make, it just makes you move faster. Oh, Riku, you are our only DPS right now. This is going to be bad. I can drain. That wasn't great. I'll someone run an MP pretty quick. Uh-oh. Well. Well. <laughs> that's about how I thought this would go. Ah. Uh, there's no way I can win this. There's no way. Unless I have the items that let me do that 9999 thing. I'm pretty sure I don't. Oh, yeah, I have 99 of those. I wonder if there's anything I can make with these. The underdog secrets. I wonder if there's anything I can mix with that that would actually help me in this fight. This is... <laughs> oh, here it comes. Oh. I'm running into MP so fast. There's nothing I can do. I might look up some strategies for this guy that don't involve having stone stuff. I seriously doubt it's going to work, but... Well then. Let Waka out. I'm almost at an MP, and I don't have a lot of ethers. Struggle. That's actually pretty good damage. This is going to really hurt, isn't it? Ow. Oh, cool. KO punch. Oh, cool. Oh, even better. Not only does he have a stone punch, he has an instant death punch. <laughs> but at least I can come back from that. I can't come back from the stone. Well, then. That's going to have to be done off camera. I'm going to have to try to get that. What I can do is go to Remium Temple and fight all the Aeons besides Anima, but I kind of wanted to save all the Aeons until then. So what am I going to do? You know what? I'm going to look up an easy way to beat this guy. Uh, Final Fantasy X. What was his name? Geo... Geo... Gog... I don't remember his name. Uh, how about I just search Baj Temple? Another fun part of the stream where I'm looking up stuff on my phone and I'm not playing anything. Uh, da, 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 da. You must use Titus, Waka, and Riku. Well, I thank you. Come on, phone. Stop, stop dying. Okay. Death and Petrify based attacks. Yep. He is immune to everything. I'm looking at it. Literally everything. Was this guy helpful? 
no. Oh. It says here, just have Riku mix two doors to tomorrow. It says you have to go to the Calm Lands and go to the Monster Arena and buy the weapons the guy in the Monster Arena has that uh, has the catcher ability. You should have them uh, then start from Besaid catching all the monsters between Besaid and the Calm Lands. Yeah, that won't take forever. After mixing two doors to tomorrow. God, I am not catching everything from Besaid to uh, the Calm Lands. Oh, interesting. That might work. Except it's not going to because the sucky move will still kill me. So I would need two people. It says here, evade encounter. He can't hit you. But if he sucks you in and spits you out, you're instantly dead. So... If Waka's the only one left, I would need two people with that so I could get the other person up. Could be useful. Maybe the items for evading counter are better. All right. What does this thing say? Uh, Helpful. Okay. <laughs> well, unless I want to grind for uh, stoneproof weapons, I'm going to try one more time. And I'm going to put this on. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I only have one of these. If I had two, it'd be perfect. He would miss every time. And I would have two people that can, you know, res the other person. But this is only going to last for so long. I don't think I'm going to do a grind stream. I think I would just do that off stream. That way when I come back, I can just do it. Because again, I want my next stream to be nothing but like the Blitzball stuff. And then of course, once I'm done with all that, I would then continue with the game. Like getting all the Aeons. What's up? Something here? I almost got payback. I get the pick. And my choices are to grind for equipment that has stone ward or stone proof which might not even exist, or to get enough items to get another evading counter weapon for Titus or Riku. Those are my options. Um, I did not give Riku her light lightning yet. I honestly don't even think this is a good idea. Yes, it gives her damage, but it's not much. And she runs out of MP so fast. But yeah, it's not even worth it. Without the monster arena, it's just hard to get enough stuff. Oh, I left that weapon on Titus. Awesome. Okay, what to do, what to do. I can increase my luck. That does stuff, right? Oh, look at that. Yeah, 3,000 damage. Yay. Um. Oh, I have Osmos. Maybe I can actually get some... I'm sure it's a boss fight. I'm sure I'll get like 1 MP. I don't, I mean, if, if Riku had that, it'd be nice, but this, this is not, this, this fight's going to last longer, at least. Which I believe are on the Jose High Road. So yeah, I could do that. This is, why am I even trying this? <laughs> Or if I could get another evading counter weapon, that would work too. Waka? Attack Waka? No, no, don't. Okay. Well, I didn't die. That's something. I'm just trying this one time. And then after this, I don't know what else to do. I I might, I might actually try to go for a drop for a bit. But 
other than that, I don't want to do the Blitzball stuff yet. You know what? I'm going to haste everyone. Then I'm going to start cheering so they do more damage. That's about all I can do at this point. And I'm going to continue to use luck. I know luck has to do with crits in this game. So that'll help too. At least with everyone hasted, he has less chance to instant kill me. Oh, it didn't work. Yay. I'm surprised everyone is still alive. All right, enough luck. I'm sure that's not even helping. Oh, good. That was a crit. Jay, you're just in time to watch me lose. <laughs> I'm in like an unwinnable boss fight at this point in the game. What to do, what to do. Everyone's hasted. I guess it's time to cheer underwater. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, without stone ward stuff, I if you get stoned in this, you die. And I can barely do any damage. That was a crit. Bye, Titus. Have fun. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I have made it. Well, it doesn't matter. If I didn't haste people, it'd be the same thing, so whatever. Uh. Well. That's so pathetic. This is gonna hurt. Hello, waffles. Oh, that hurts so bad. Okay. I am in a losing boss fight. How are you? All right, Riku. Maybe I should have given Riku Thundaga. <laughs> kind of regretting my decision. Uh, well, bye, Riku. <laughs> yeah, I can't win this. I mean, they're going to have to get Stone Ward stuff or get a weapon with a Vaden counter. <laughs> I like how he just died. He didn't even get stoned. <laughs> oh, thanks for the follow. Oh yeah, I saw you on the uh, on the Twitch startup thing. Uh, I guess I should get him up so he can die again. See, this is why one person with evading counter is not going to win the fight. Because as soon as Waka's the only one left, if I get super lucky and Waka doesn't die. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right. He can live with one HP sometimes. Yeah, I'm, I'm real. I'm kind of happy with the with the with the uh, when, when I made the follow thing. That I'm kind of happy with that. Welp. Oh, ho, ho. as long as he attacks Waka, everything's fine. I should probably heal Titus so he doesn't... Well, whatever. Ooh, nice crit. I'm going to cheese this fight, but not really, because once Waka's the only one left, I can't win. You know, I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to look up how much HP this guy has. And... Ow! Uh, yeah, it can also hurt your teammates sometimes. Yay. I don't have enough healing stuff. Uh, d d drain? That was kind of pathetic. Um... Yeah, this is kind of a losing fight. So 
So yeah, my two options are to go hunt for some stoneproof stuff or to get another evade. If I had two invading counter weapons, this could be winnable. But I think there's always a chance that when he does the the uh, regurgitation move, that there's always a chance that it will kill both people. If I have any hope of winning this, I need to keep Waka healthy so he doesn't die from that one move. Not Waka. No, not Waka. No, Waka's the good one. I need him. Welp, Titus, what are you going to do? Um, Can I slow him? No, I cannot. Well, if Titus lives this and doesn't get killed immediately... Although Titus doesn't have haste on, so... Ow. Well, there it goes. <laughs> okay, so my choices are get some stone proof or ward stuff um, or get another evading counter weapon. So, yeah. I don't want to move on with the story yet. Because again, I want to time this where my next Final Fantasy X stream on Tuesday will be my Blitzball recruitment stream. That'll be fun. Which I can do right now, I think. Pretty sure I have access to all the people right now. Um, So, bear with me here. I'm going to look something up. I'm going to look up where to get Stoneward stuff. Final Fantasy X. Uh... Actually, we know what stone proof equipment drops. Where can I find? Yep, there we go. I'm sure they're asking for this fight. Uh, da -da -da. Thirty softs will produce stone ward. Twenty petrify grenades will produce stone proof. I can buy plenty of softs. Hmm. Question is, where do I get petrify grenades? I think I can only get them through bribing, so I'm going to have to go with stone ward and hope it works. Of course, the next question is, evading counter weapons. Those are pretty rare. Uh, weapon drops. Entertaining stream. <laughs> da, 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 da. Nothing's really uh, telling me anything. Awesome. Stone Ward it is. And maybe I'll try one more time before uh, giving up. Hey, Rin. Hopefully you have some stuff that has uh, empty slots. Lady Yuna, a gentle nature, yet strong as steel. She reminds me of her parents. Yuna's old man was a priest of Yevon, but he married an Albed, huh? Lord Braska wanted peace between his people and ours. He would occasionally visit the home of those days. So that's how he met Sid's sister? They ran off together into the night. <laughs> Sounds like love. Wow, Sid must have been furious. Yes, he wouldn't talk to her after that. But when Yuna was born, they made up again. His sister took off for home at once. But then her ship. Sin. That incident turned Lord Braska down the summoner's path. Everything leads back to sin. But you'll put an end to it. With a vengeance. I pray for your success. Huh. May I help? I didn't remember that conversation. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. All right. We got here. Oh, well, that's perfect. They're a little pricey, but I only need three of them. I need Titus's. 
Uh, Wakas. And Riku's. Thank you. And now I need a ton of softs. Which luckily are pretty cheap. Thank you. Your patron. Thank you. Oh, I forgot to sort, so all my new stuff goes in this big empty spot right here. Stone Ward. Uh, how about some... No, oh, I gotta go with the cheap stuff again. Magic defense won't do anything. So, defense plus three. And I guess that's it. Oh, I already did that before. And it's weird that Mass Effect 1 takes me longer to item manage than a Final Fantasy game. It's a little weird. Stone Ward. Defense plus three. Stone Ward. And defense plus three. All right. I'm going to be as ready as I can be. And not using that. I wish Titus had a better weapon. Piercing would be helpful. In fact, I might, I might take a look at that. Riku. No. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look at what I need for piercing. It, I mean, piercing's a pretty easy early thing to have. Do I not have a... Okay, good. That works. Okay. Piercing. A level two sphere. Ouch. And there goes my phone. Get back your phone. Hopefully I don't run you over with my chair. Oh, hey, it didn't break. Yay. Good, because I can't afford a new one. Yeah. Let me bring the uh, chat back up. The problem with the 10 with the mod on is if I, if I alt-tab out of the game, it crashes the game. So I have to... If I have to do anything in chat, I use my phone. Okay. Now, is piercing worth it on Riku? No. And Waka's going to have a beat encounter, so I only need to use one for Titus. Really? Oh, that's a little pricey. Ouch. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, It'd make the fight go faster. But, oh, that's hard to justify that expensive of a price. And the Brotherhood's free, basically, so... Mm. Thank you. Nope, oh, wrong way. I don't want to talk to those Albed Sykes. They handed me my only loss of my Blitzball. All right. Attempt number three. With correct... Hopefully some correct items. Uh, did I actually equip Waka with... No, I did not. And Riku's weapon literally doesn't matter. And Riku has no way to get MP back. And I have very little MP at wep or items. So even if I gave her Thundaga, it wouldn't do much good. So unfortunately, Riku is pretty much useless in this fight. She's the item user. She's the Phoenix Down user. What's up? I almost payback. I get the pick. Uh, no. I'm not even doing... I'm not even using Titus. In my, uh... In my nice, diverse, free agent team I'm making. For my stupid role-playing Blitzball thing. Where I gave backstories to everyone. Titus is not on the team. He's too good. I'm not... I'm not I mean, I'm using good people. But I'm also using, like, average people. It, it's more based on who they are and not their abilities. Uh, Welp. 
I could haste people, but then he gets haste. And then when someone dies and comes back, they don't have haste. So the playing field isn't isn't even. So I'm not going to haste. Because if he gets haste and someone doesn't, then they fall behind. But I will use luck. Why not? I'll use uh, luck and cheer. I left the weapon on him again. Uh, three... That's going to be a waste of a cheer turn. Stone Ward, huh? Yeah, it did, worked well. <laughs> well then. This was fun. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do now. I think I just got super unlucky on the roll. Pretty much no point in continuing, but, uh... You know, I wonder what would happen if, um, Waka had Auron's guard ability. I wonder if that works with evade encounter. I don't think it would. I think that'd be broken. So there's really no point in continuing this, uh, this attempt. Um, because those cheers would have come in handy. And we'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm assuming... I don't know. Maybe it's like a quarter of a chance now. As long as he attacks Waka, it's great. But with one person gone, I don't think I can win this. Oh, bye, Riku. Oh, even her struggle is weak. At least if he sucks in someone else, they do like a couple thousand. It's possible. Maybe it doesn't work that way, though. If it's a 50% chance and Stone Ward is 50%, maybe those don't overlap like that. Maybe it's like a quarter chance now. I don't know. Look, I took for probability in high school. I suck at it. I've, I've never understood statistics and probability. Whoa, look at that. Riku dodged. I'll take that. I think I might have just gotten super unlucky because like luck and luck in this game is accuracy and maybe even I think it's accuracy, evasion and uh, crit chance. So increasing everyone's luck by six, five or six stacks of this will make me will mean they can dodge too. Unfortunately, Titus got stoned on the first attempt. Also, every time someone dies, they lose the luck stacks. And again, it's nice that he's not doing this to Waka. But her struggle is very weak. And no status effects will work on him. There's no point naming. This does barely anything. Not a lot of options. I can guard. I don't have to struggle. But then that happens anyway, <laughs> so. Oh, hey, look. No, no, no. Yes. She still won't live a hit, but. Uh, once again, I should have looked up how much HP this guy has. I'm going to be very depressed when I look it up, probably. Dodge. Dodge, no worky. Okay, good. Whew. I don't know why I'm continuing. I think I just got super unlucky. And I should probably just stop and get Titus back. Like, why am I doing this? I'm stubborn, that's why. More luck. Why not? I could use her mix. 
But I really don't have anything great to mix, I don't think, anyway. If you look at what items I have that are kind of rare, I have Underdog Secrets. I have... That, that's about it in terms of, like, rare items. Maybe I can mix two of them and see what happens. I don't have much to lose at this point. Yeah, why not? Two Underdog Secrets coming up. Okay, that wasn't terrible. I mean, it wasn't great, but that was like 20 hits from Waka. So, I'll take it. I seriously doubt that's a lot of his HP, but hey, in progress. No. No. No, not wa anyone but Waka. At least, hey, at least his struggle hurts more. Don't kill him. So I lose my luck. Oh, oh, wel welp. Welp, there's that roll I was talking about. Wait a minute. He died. I killed him, but I died. Double down. Do I win? Does the, does the tie go to, to me? I doubt it does. <laughs> no. <laughs> I killed him, but he killed me. <laughs> so it's doable. His HP isn't nearly as high as I thought it was. So the question is... The question is, does he always do that? That's not a lot. I, with that one move that did 20k, I can do this. The problem is, does that mean that when he's about to die, he kills me? If that's the case, how would you ever win this? Because you saw it did like exact amount of HP. Well, it did max HP. How do you live that? Is it random? Well, you know, you know what? I was, I was about to say something. When I hit him that last time, when I struggled, it looked like he started the death animation. But then before, after he started the death animation, he sucked in Waka. And like and then like, like, so what I mean is it looked like I killed him and the game made him do one final attack. So, how am I supposed to win this if he does max damage all the time? This is going to be interesting. And I really need to save it after I put all my stuff on. Did I... Um, I don't, li I don't like to point out my stupidity. Did you see what I just did? Did you see that I had to equip Titus with the soft thing? He didn't have it on. That's why it didn't work. <sighs> Doesn't mean it's still 100%, but, um... Oops. We'll just pretend that didn't happen. Alright, attempt number... F uh, four. Attempt number four. I'm feeling good about this one. Feeling good about it. What's up? I almost got payback. I get the pick. Because if Titus had been there, I would have been able to do cheers, which would have made everyone do more damage, which would have made the fight go faster. I have no idea. Hmm. Except it always doesn't do that. Sometimes they live on one HP. Other times when he does that spit up move, it only hurts the one person and kills them. Other times it hits everyone. Other times it leaves them with one HP. It's kind of random. Here we go. I am stacking luck. I want to be as lucky as I can. I'm going to be super lucky in this fight. Maybe Titus will actually live more than two seconds. Cheer will make the punches do less damage, even if they don't work. Okay, I'm not taking any chances of people dying when I don't want them to. So, I'm going to Riku's the healer. If I don't have any healing to do, I use luck. 
I do not remember if stuff like here stacks five or six times. I never do. It is possible that since I kill, if I killed him with the struggle, that's what happened. Unfortunately, no one has sensor. Although I can switch back if Titus is never going to physically attack, which he's not, not really. I can switch him back to his sensor weapon. Yay, it didn't work. Yay. I should have healed her. Oh, well. I'm hoping I can do this, because if I do, if I do, I will then go to Remium Temple and finish my stream by fighting all the regular Aeons and getting Maga Sisters. I don't think Scan is in this game. No, because that's what Sensor is. I mean, Sensor is literally that. If, it, if Scan is in this game, it's I never use it. Uh, yeah, here. So yeah, if I can do this early enough, I will go do all the Aeons and then I'll be done. And then my next stream uh, will be Mass Effect tomorrow. But after that, it'll be Tuesday and I'll do my fun Blitz Ball. All right, Waka, whittle him down. I should also be using Riku's mix immediately, so that way maybe I can get a second one up. Two mixes and this thing's dead. Oh, if I had a trust on someone, that'd be perfect. Unfortunately, it's an orange sphere grid, and I never unlocked it. That'd be a simple... It'd be, use this, uh, and trust Waka to Riku, and then use it again. I also don't remember where I got all those secrets. I don't remember what I... Maybe the Chocobo race? Kind of cheating. I wanted to. I didn't want to use the monster arena because all the items they give you. But you know what? I'll take it. I did the Chocobo race, so the one-on-one -on -one, one, not the weird Rimium Temple hit all the treasure chest one. Might do that too. I hate. I said that before. I hate that Rimium Chocobo race more than I hate the other one with Titus. I'm doing 300 damage more a hit. That's not bad. He still has like 15,000 HP left, so. <laughs> I'll throw money at him. That's awesome. I'll throw money underwater. Now, I know for a fact he still has quite a bit of HP left, so. Don't kill. Oh, dude. All right. Albed potions. <laughs> I will also use potions. Another Albed potion. Potions for everyone. Hey, Waka loves those Albed potions now. I'm sure he hated them before, but... Um, more cheer. Uh, more luck. Titus a little hit. He'll be fine. I doubt luck is doing anything. It, it, if it is increasing my crit chance, it's helping. Well, they don't drink them. Look how items are used. They're thrown. It's like a heal goo that they just break over top of them. Oh, and I didn't use struggle that one time, but yeah, I just need to make sure I kill him with no one in him. Nice crit. At this point, since Titus is not even attacking, I'm going to put this back on. So I can see his HP. Perfect. Okay, luck. I'll do luck one more time. Oh, you know, a combination of Waka and Riku might kill him. I didn't steal from him, did I? Oh, crap, he might have a good steal. Oh, no. Oh, no, now I want to steal from him. 
I could literally kill him right now, but I want to steal from him. <laughs> I'm being, no, I'm being super greedy right now. He can't have anything that good, can he? Did I, should I steal from him and hope that Waka kills him? I just cheated, he might do more damage. I'm kind of pushing my luck here. Ooh, it's a gamble. You know what? I'm, you know what? Uh, Mug. Goodbye. Woohoo! I only won that because of the stupid underdog secrets, but I'll take it. <laughs> Hooray! I get anima! That was terrible AP. Oh, I got a weapon for... Oh, cool. I got a weapon drop, and it's Kimari's. <laughs> Watch it actually be pretty good. Oh, it's no encounters. That's interesting. Too bad I actually have a cheat in the Steam version where no encounters is pointless. <laughs> Yay, victory goes to me. So I will be doing that. It's only three, it's only 10.30. I'll, uh, I'll go do the Remium Temple Aeon fights and I'll end it after that. It'll be fun. It'll be a Pokemon battle. You know the Aeon trainer. And we're back to where it all started in Spira. <laughs> so I get a water gem or a water gem. Cool. See? Yay! I can just activate these things and I'm good. Ooh, Mega Phoenix down. I'll take that. Now, why isn't this one activating? Or do I have to do it in a certain order? I'm a little... Oh, I know why it's not working. I haven't gotten it yet. That's right. There's one more temple I never finished. The one in Xanarkand. You have to go back and do the uh, the all square thing and do some stuff there. I, f I completely forgot about that. That one counts. Even though the even though it's technically not a, it's a temple, it's technically a temple for the final Aeon. That lost its power. I have to go back and do that first. That won't take very long. I'm pretty sure I can use something to teleport, like, right to it. Mega Elixir. Uh, yeah. So that's the one I have to get. Because there's six of them, but only five temples. That I always forget that Xanarkin counts. Not a problem. I go to Xanarkin, I do my thing, get the item, and then come back and fight uh, fight Angry Fish thing. That's supposedly Seymour's mother. Oh, well, it makes you wonder. Anima's really messed up looking, which makes sense it to be Seymour's, but Seymour's mother wasn't evil. Like, why did she turn out to be, like, so evil looking? Maybe it reflects the summoner more than the person. Xanarkand. Alright, yep, teleporter thing. Uh, domed area. Which is a Blitzball arena. You know what? Since Kimari got that nice new weapon with no encounters, there you go. You know, it's kind of funny. Kamari is like one of my least used characters. The funny thing is, because I don't use him, it actually makes the most sense to get the no encounter weapon for him. I also use him for magic mainly, so. Oh, I didn't see any more ghosts. I remember this place in 10-2. You know, in, in 10, it's like a 
place where this is when Yuna is going to die. It's where the hope and dream, hopes and dreams for the final summoning pretty much died. And Titus sees where he used to live and it's in ruins. And in 10-2, it's a theme park. Uh, there's been a lot of speculation about that. One is he just trains. In this world, people can train to not breathe for an extended period of time. The other is they subconsciously, in a way, control pyreflies. And those pyreflies let them like breathe underwater somehow. I'm saying it's subconscious because people in this world are very superstitious with that kind of stuff. I doubt they would do it on purpose if they knew that's what it was. Now, I think those are the... You know, I think there's one up here. With this, you have to find all the squares. Um, I think... Nope, that's not a square. That's a square. We're playing find the squares. That is not a square. It combines with the other one to form two different shapes. Uh, same thing with these. I think. Maybe not. Nope. Oh, I should have just gone with my gut. Although a lot of stuff about 10 isn't canon. Like, unfortunately, the thing that comes after Final Fantasy 10 is and 10 2 are done, that will thing. Mm. I've listened to it finally. I'm with everyone else. I don't like it. Nope, didn't mean to do that. Nope, I don't want to get on that. Uh, okay, so it was no, 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 no. I think that's all of them. And I just have to go back and activate the ones in here. Uh, you. And you. Not all of them? Crap, it's not all of them. Um, what about... Ah! <laughs> Welp. Now, I knew that one wasn't one. Why did I do that? So there's three in this room. There are seven total. <laughs> As you can see, my short-term memory is so bad that I just did that. Okay. There are four in the other room. I know this is one. That one's not. That one's not. That one's not. One of these is. It's probably this one. Yep. You can tell that those two are different shapes. That's not squares. That's not. Mm. Yeah. There's one more. And it is right here. Nope. <laughs> Why am I so bad? It's the one right above it. I'm so bad at this. My memory fails me. I missed one, didn't I? Uh, anything to do with memory, I'm pretty much terrible. Okay, I know it's not those two. I know it's not that. I know... As you can see, I have hit all the I have hit them all at least once.
Okay. I know for a fact. It's no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, you think it'd be impossible to hit them all at least one time and not remember where they are? Is it that one? Oh, I almost hit that. Okay, I got all four. How did I miss that? How did I not hit those four? Which one was I missing out every time? Oh, I did it. It shouldn't have taken that long, but I did it. Now it's Tetris music. Na, 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 na. Na 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 na. Yay! Destruction sphere. And that goes right here, I think. And there it is, the last item. Na, 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 na. And it's another thing for Yuna. Could this finally replace Yuna's weapon? Mm, yes, it can. I'll put stuff on it later. All right. <laughs> I was, I was naturally going to say back to Xanarkand. I'm already in Xanarkand. Back to Baj. Not as catchy, but... Alright. I'm gonna get me uh, a new a new Aeon, and then I'm gonna go fight a bunch of Aeons, and get a new Aeon. I said Aeon a lot. You know, how many different ways can you say summon in the world of Final Fantasy? In five, they're summons. In six, they're espers. In seven, they're summons. In eight, they're GFs. In nine, they're just summons in nine, right? In ten, they're Aeons. In eleven, I'm assuming they're summons because it's called a summoner, but I don't know. I mean, this is a summoner and we summon Aeons. Uh, Twelve, I should know. They are not summons. Are they espers in twelve? And there it is. In 13, they're an abomination. They're like, they're like summon transformers. Six treasures lie within six temples. Oh, wait, do I have to... I have to do them all again. <laughs> Come on, I was just here. Don't you remember me? Well, that one takes a while. Uh, one thing I wish I'd known before. Well, I, I guess I, I think I kind of knew after just accidentally doing it. I always thought, like the first time through, that the items that you get from the destruction spheres that have to do with this, you couldn't spend. You couldn't use. You couldn't sell. You can. It's just opening the chest. You can do whatever you want. If you got Yuna's and then sold it immediately, wouldn't recommend it, but then you're fine. It's just opening. Primals? Interesting. In 12, there are also summons, I believe. Oh, the summons in 12 are actually pretty cool. They're, you don't get to do them very often, but they're very epic. Hey, Seymour's mom. 
Sorry I killed your son three times. Well, technically I only killed him once. I then beat him up two times after that. And a different hymn of the faith. Awkward. You are Maester Seymour's mother. So you know, yet still you seek my aid. My son, do you not hate him? It is all right. He is the one who sowed the seeds of hatred. He is to blame. But I am at fault for letting him become what he was. He was always alone, half Guardo, half man. I wanted to give him the strength to live by himself. And so I became a faith. But because I let him taste power, he began to thirst for more. He was not satisfied with my Aeon. He wanted more, more power. And he found sin. Yes. Come, Summoner. I will bestow you with my power. The Dark Aeon, Anima. Destroy sin. And my son's obsession with it. Yeah, notice he didn't say... A small recompense for what I did to him. He didn't say kill my son, because I kind of already did it. He said kill sin. Yay! I got the fish summon. Which is technically not water. I don't think he counts. I'm pretty sure he doesn't count as water. If you cast water on yourself, I don't I'm pretty sure it's not gonna heal you. I just find it weird there's no water summoned. It's a fish. You think this would be the one, but it's not. Alright, well, mission accomplished. Now Now I'm gonna go have a nice uh Pokemon style summoner fight. And after that, I'll end the stream for the night. And then... I'll try to find that file where I wrote all the backstory down on the Blitzball characters. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to Calmlands. Now, I remember I needed Chocobo for this. Thing is, do I remember how to get to Remium Temple? This is one of the first tracks I ever heard. Um, there was like a slight leak online of some of some things. This was one of the tracks. It was this, the battle music. What else? Uh, it was, let's see. There were four of them. It was the Chocobo music. That reminds me of the Chips Ahoy music. <laughs> Always what I used to think. I know it's was around before that. That's just what it reminds me of. Uh, then there was the battle music or the boss I can't I think it was the battle music and the other one was the actually the very last fight surprisingly the summoner it's I think it's called like it's summoner something it's the fight against you Yevon I do not remember what the fourth one was it might have been it could have been something like Yuna's theme you know I, I don't remember Chocobo Feather I never found this place my first time through the game. I think I did get... I actually think I got Anima, surprisingly. I somehow managed to get all the items. Just bumbling my way through the game the first time. I might have had a guide. Maybe. 
but I don't think I ever found this place. All right, from one boss fight to another. Do I have any moves for Yuna? Nope. Welcome, Yuna. What is this place? Brimium Temple. Once a great religious center in the Calm Lands, lost after the battle with Sin. And this is your home? What? You got something against company? <laughs> it's a long story. Easier, perhaps, to show you. You're dead, too. Everyone's dead. Don't send me just yet. There is still one thing left for me to do here. With the help I can give, a young summoner might just be able to defeat Sin. Well, Yuna, I challenge you. If you cannot beat me, you'll never beat Sin. Yep, and you have to go in order. Very well. Before we begin... Now, are you ready? Valifor, I choose you. Except no, she chooses Valifor. I can use whoever I want. Of course, <laughs> I might have summons on short, but she doesn't. Choose your Aeon well, summoner. Now, who do I want to fight Valifor? <laughs> I'll just summon Anima. <laughs> now, let's keep it a little fair. You'll notice I have overdrives ready to go. Uh, nah, screw even. Went through a lot of trouble to fight that stupid fish to get this thing. I fought one fish to get another fish. I'm gonna use it. I have summoned Anima so many times. There was one fight in the arena that uh, I needed to farm for a certain item. I think it was either Lux Spheres or Fortune Spheres, and this was the best way to do it. I don't remember why, it just was. And I've summoned this thing so many times. 7,000 damage in one regular hit, I'll take it. Really? Alright, fair fight. <laughs> fair fight. Stop. That is enough. Anima wins. Flawless victory, almost? Ah, you have made some progress. And for that, I am glad. Take this. It may come in handy. Ooh, I get items. Lightning gem? Yeah. Next. If you've got what it takes to beat Sen, I should be no more than a bump in your path, right? Very well. Before we begin... Now, are you ready? Yeah. Oh, again, I still wonder. The, the summon must take the form of the summoner. If they make a faith at that point, because I don't see his mother being an evil fish. It has to, like... Seymour's darkness had to have made that thing somehow. Choose your Aeon well, summoner. Oh, who am I going to summon against Ifrit? Well, I think I'll summon Anima again. No, that's boring. Uh, how about Exion? They don't have, uh, they're not weak against each other, so that's nice. Yeah, I'm doing a lot less damage this time. I might regret not summoning Anima. But this is why I like elemental summons. You can heal yourself. Nice. This isn't Indiana Jones, alright? 
you know, there's not there's not one right option. I'll, I should be fine. Maybe. He's not even hurt yet. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that sweet dodge. If he gets to his overdrive uh, before I kill him, I'll have to use mine. I could shield, I guess, but... He is not even... Wow, he's not hurt yet. Their Aeons might not do as much damage as me, but they have a lot more HP than I do. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, crit. But you're right, I didn't cue right. This is a Pokemon battle, right? I should have picked a water Pokemon. Stop. That is enough. Or ground. Or rock. There's no well. Where's Titan? Ah, you have made some progress. And for that, I am glad. Take this. It may come in handy. If you've got what it takes. Yeah, yeah. Very well. To show now, that I've been playing Pokemon too much ready? lately, though, when I was fighting, I was fighting something with Valifor, and it was an Ochu, and the Ochu used the move Earthquake. And in my mind, at first, I was like, well, that's stupid. Valifor's flying. It's not going to hit him. And then I remembered, oh, yeah, this isn't how that works. Choose your Aeon Will, Summoner. XCNA. It's an electric type. So what should I pick? How about a gr there's no ground types? And guess what? Electric uh, only has one weakness. <laughs> oh no. Um, you summon you, Jimbo. Um, uh, I would summon Valifor, but honestly, I think the only reason I won that last fight was because I could heal myself. I'm never gonna get to summon Valifor in this because he's too weak. I need something that can. You know what? We'll do. We'll do a mere a mere battle. I already won this setup, but I'll do it again. This time I have Ifrit on my side. Oh, you got to attack twice? Come on! Only I get to do that. That hurt a lot. Oh, okay. Oh, and I only have fire. That's right. I never gave myself fire. <laughs> Oops. Oh, that's not a lot of healing. Oh, this is going to do... Okay, well, I'm in trouble now. Uh, attack. And then hope this kills. Throw that big rock. This probably is, is going to kill, is it? Nope. Well, I'm dead. Oh! <gasps> now, well, wait. Exine evades. What? Um, I'm still alive for some reason. I, what did that message mean? It said Exine evades. Okay. I still have a chance. Exine evades. Good for it. I'm just going to keep hearing myself while I can. Oh, okay. I'm going to Meteor Strike because I'm pretty sure that's a guaranteed hit. Cool. Just keep evading. It's working out for you. He didn't say it that time. But he evaded anyway. Oh, I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. No, every time I every time you try to hit something and miss, their overdrive goes up. I see what they're doing. Unfortunately, if I hit him again, uh overdrive will be full. Oh, 
one more hit and his overdrive is up. But since I had two hits in a row, good for me. Thor's hammer. Is it sad that when I hear the term Thor's hammer, instead of thinking of Marvel's Thor's hammer, uh, my first thought is to go to Stargate when I think of the Asgard and the device Thor's hammer. Nerd. Bigger nerd. I would... I would say that thinking of Stargate for that makes me a bigger nerd than thinking of <laughs> thinking of Marvel. It's like nerd tears. Stop. That is enough. I barely won that fight. I could have just summoned Anima, but what's the fun of that? Ah, you have me. Take this. Give me free stuff. Ever since the temples well, branded me a summoner or branded me a traitor, people haven't been giving me free stuff anymore. Very well. Now, are you ready? I've been meaning to rewatch Stargate every like every like six months to a year. I rewatch about half of Stargate Atlantis. I kind of pick my favorite episodes and rewatch them in a row. I haven't seen SG One in years. You know, I didn't watch the show until it came to Netflix. And then I I binged all ten seasons in about two months. Choose your Aeon Will Summoner. I love that show. Uh, who do I want for Shiva? Bahamut can't heal himself, but he's pretty powerful. Uh. Yeah, Axiom. I know I already summoned him, but I need someone who can heal him. Self. You know, it's funny. When you watch shows, pretty much shows in general, you know, like even, like especially X-Files is a good example of this. You have two types of episodes. You have the story episodes. The ones that take like like plot arcs and stuff that have been going on and I keep missing uh, the other ones are the one-offs with Stargate I like both like I like both the main plot arc ones and the, the one-offs oh so that's why I kind of pick and choose Atlantis sometimes but the uh, what I'm going with what I was trying to get to was season 9 and 10 of SG-1 is it's okay it's okay. But honestly, with season 9 and 10, I like the one-off episodes better than the story plot stuff. The Ori are kind of boring to me. But the uh I like the one-offs. Cuz they still like the Ori stuff doesn't feel like Stargate as much to me, but the one-offs do. It's like they were able to have that awesome like one story thing happen, but then when they went to the story of the Ori, it was just kind of like, "Nah." I should have shielded. Why didn't I shield? What am I doing? Now I'm dead. Yep. Oh, I love Atlantis. I like I like it for different reasons. SG One. I love how it's grounded in reality a little bit. Where in the beginning they're just they're just people with guns, and they're fighting aliens. And then finally, like by season seven, they finally have some better tech. How much is this gonna do? Oh, it didn't kill me. Um, basically, SG-1 is sci-fi, but it's like more grounded sci-fi. It's more realistic to me. Uh, Atlantis is definitely more sci-fi because they use like ancient tech and all that stuff. But I like it. I like them both. SG-1 doesn't age as well either. It's older. But it also doesn't age that well in a lot of ways. Kind of like Star Trek, in a sense. Like, some things just don't age the greatest. I think Atlantis ages very well. SG-1, I still love it. But the first couple seasons... The first season of, of Atlantis, I like. But the first season of SG-1, it's a little, it's a little rough. It's like Star Trek. Look, I love me some Next Generation... But there's some pretty bad episodes in seasons one and two of Next Generation. 
There's some good ones too. Stop. That's how Star that's how that's how Star Trek always is. It's like the first two seasons are kind of like yeah, ah, and then it gets good. Made some Take this. Like I love seasons three to seven of Deep Space Nine. I really don't like seasons one of two of Deep Space Nine. Well, Yuna. Oh, Bahamut's next. Very well. Well, if he fights like every Bahamut ever, ready? it's gonna be wait five turns, Mega Flare. And how fitting that the summon from uh, Bavel, the holy town that says don't use Machina, is Machina based. You know, because of that, I know in 10 2, new Yevon's a, bit, a lot different than Yevon is. I don't care. I side with the youth league. Wait, like he doesn't like babyface Riker. Uh, I mean, I don't know. Mass Effect's kind of its own thing. I do like the Expanse. I watched the first two seasons when they came out, and I'm reading the second book right now. It's like horror noir sci-fi. Um, I'm gonna summon Shiva. He does look weird without it. Also, if you didn't notice certain things, um, Riker. Uh, wow. Did I really just forget the name of the actor who plays Riker? Franks. John Fr Jonathan Franks. He has a bad back. And if you'll notice, whenever he does, certain, he carries himself in a certain way or likes to lean over stuff, he has a bad back. So that's why he did that. In the first season, it wasn't so bad, so he did like more actiony stuff. But later, he can't move very well. Oh, that punch is just kind of brutal looking. Yep, he's doing the countdown thing. But he also attacks. Last time I fought a Bahamut, he didn't even bother to attack me. Speaking of sci-fi, you know I've never seen Fire, uh, Firefly? It's because I knew... Oh, okay. I knew that I would like it. And I didn't want to get too attached to it, because I know it's only like 11 episodes. I've never seen it. And I don't want to see it. I don't want to get attached to the characters in the story and then know that it's only 11 episodes. That's like a punishment. Also, um, I used to watch uh, a show on Netflix called uh, Dark Matter. Basically, it's like Firefly, but more, but more edgy, I guess. It ends on a cliffhanger. Season three ends on a cliffhanger, and they canceled it after season three. I hate stuff like that. I hate when I get into a show and then catch up to it, and then it's canceled. Like, I want to know. I've seen the movie. I actually watched the movie um, my, when I lived at, it was a while ago, when I lived at home. My dad bought it, and I watched it. I had no idea it was based on a show. I just knew it was a sci-fi movie. They did a good job of making the movie, like, watchable for people that had never seen the show. <laughs> so we're opposites. Well, that's like me with other stuff. I hate watching series finales of shows I like. It's depressing. I am... Um, this is a little different because the last couple seasons were kind of meh. But I had never seen Smallville. I binged all of Smallville in like a three or four month period. But I got to the very last two-part episode. And I didn't watch it for six months. I'm just... I don't like when things end that I like. So I'm just... And then especially stuff like... um. Like Stargate, I've seen the series finale of Stargate once and never watched it again. I don't want to watch it. That's why Star Wars is going to suck. Whether it's good or bad, 
it, it's the last in an episode that's it's it's the last episode in a saga that's lasted like how many years since the 70s it's gonna be very depressing because like once it's over it's like that's it that's the end of the skywalker saga I mean, even if you didn't like episode eight and you don't like episode nine, it's still the end. It's going to be kind of a sad moment. I have never seen Battlestar Galactica. That is on my list. I'm going to watch it someday. I just keep not watching it. You know, those, those, uh, Four, I guess you would call them like the four... Is there five? Hold on. St see, technically Star Wars didn't have any shows really. But if you want to count movies as well, it was Star Wars, Star Trek, and Stargate. You know, all the stars. Then there's Battlestar Galactica and Doctor Who. And then there's the weird one, Farscape. I tried my best to like Farscape. I don't like it. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> Oh, you should see oh, you should see how messed up I am. I watched um Jay here play Mass Effect 3 blind. And then the thing is, I was watching someone else play blind too. I forget I forget who it was playing at the time. Stop. And literally the same day, they both did the end game to Mass Effect. No, it was it was the, it was the day after. The night before, ah, I watched Jay finish Mass Effect 3. And, for that, take and then I had to watch someone else finish Mass Effect 3 again. That messed me up. Like, why do I keep doing this to myself? If you've got what it takes to beat Sin, uh... Yo Jimbo. Very well. Now, are you ready? At least they get an ending, though. Again, I've I have a few shows I've watched in the past that just were canceled. That's worse. Like, Stargate Atlantis wasn't canceled, but its ending was very abrupt. Well, they were going to do a movie to finish off Atlantis, and they didn't make it. Now, fortunately, they made a seven-part book series, maybe even eight now. It's called the Legacy Series, that takes place right after the end. I'm on book one. I haven't gotten very far, because I'm reading The Expanse right now. I'm going to summon old Bahamut guy. I wish I could ingest books faster. I'm not a slow reader, but I wish I could just like take it in faster. Kind of like if you watched a movie that you've seen before at like times two speed because you don't have time. <laughs> I want to do that. This might have been a mistake, by the way. Uh, Yojimbo has a lot of evasion. I might miss a lot. Yep. Also, why is our view different? Why is Yojimbo on that side? I'm going to have to impulse. It makes me not go as often, but I'm going to have to impulse just to hit him. Good damage, though. Oh, the dog's going to drop kick me. Eh. And then again. I hate impulsing because it makes me go less, but it's all I can do. Speaking of series finales, uh, I watch all the DC shows on CW. Like them or hate them, I, you know, I'm going to watch them. I've watched them this long. And they're having their five-part uh, Infinite Earth crossover. And I've, I'm not watching it on purpose. I'm going to wait until it's done and then binge the whole thing. And the thing is, Arrow is only getting like Eight, it was like eight to ten episodes for the last season to finish it off. I think this is going to finish it. So the last episode of the crossover will kind of be the last episode of Arrow. Now, there were some not great seasons of Arrow, but I've watched it since season one. 
So it's not going to be a fun time when that ends. It's going to be a little depressing. But I'll still have the flash. I just noticed how low on health I am. Well then. Do I chance doing this one more time to see if it kills him, or do I just Mega Flare? Right now, I'm in the process of catching up. I didn't watch the episodes leading up to it, because I thought it might spoil something, but I'm going to. I'm up to The Flash. I'm going to watch The Supergirl and Arrow probably tomorrow that lead up to it. I'm actually also working on catching up to Black Lightning, because I know he's in the crossover. And Batwoman. Batwoman's okay. But she's in the crossover, so I kind of want to catch up. And I don't want to lose this, so... Mega Flare! Probably overkill, but I don't want to chance it. Anima's going to be a challenge. Yeah, I, well, they all got a little weird. Stop. That is enough. Flash had a couple, one or two dud seasons. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Arrow had several. Ah, you have. Like the season with Damian Dark with the magic stuff. That wasn't great. <laughs> oh, and Legends of Tomorrow. I'm actually caught up on that because Legends has a weird schedule. They haven't even started their new season yet. It starts with this. So I'm already caught up on that. I think I have two. I think I have one episode of Supergirl and one episode of Arrow, two episodes of Black Lightning. And two episodes of Batwoman, and I'm caught up. Well, you. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be a tough fight. Go. Before we be now. Question is, who do I summon against Anima? Probably Shiva, because for some reason this thing is weak to ice. I'm not sure why. Only downside to Shiva is she's very low HP wise. And it's already after 11. I made the mistake of not eating before I started streaming. I'm gonna have to eat pretty late tonight. Choose your Aeon well. Oh boy. I'm probably gonna summon Shiva because she does more damage, but. Also, something interesting to note look at how Anima is above Yojimbo, even though you get Yojimbo first. I'm going to summon Chiba. Well, remember, my streams normally end at 10. That's not that late. But I made my hol I made my weekend ones go longer now. Like tomorrow, I'm still starting at 7. But I'm going to go at least to 11. I kind of need to save my MP for healing, but eh. And it's not great. How much does a regular attack do? Eh. Oh, he missed. Oh, something interesting that I need to get more information on. A friend of mine that streams literally sent me a message earlier today like, hey, when do you stream next? I was like, well, it's later today. And she was like, well, what's the next time you stream? She said that um, she paid to advertise my channel. And I, I didn't know what to say to that. <laughs> I was like, um, thanks. I'll, I'll, I'm going to talk to her after this. Like, the details? I'm playing Mass Effect, so that'll be good. That's my game. I require more information. Oh, this is going to hurt. This is going to kill me. I didn't think it would do that much damage. I forgot in these fights I can summon as many as I want. That's so unfair. Except if you mess around too much, the summon gets to hit you. I might live one hit. Pain might just kill me. Uh, Yojimbo? This is one of my favorite summons in 10. I love this guy.
How much should I pay him? You know what? I'm going to pay him 1,002. I paid him 1,001 last time. He has an overdrive gauge. Maybe he'll do something cool. Eh, not bad. Ooh, max damage. Well, you can't kill me with Demise, so go right ahead. Uh, what? 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 He just... Why? I didn't even pay him. Uh, buy Anima? I win? <laughs> Too bad this wasn't the Maga Sisters. Well, hey, I get to stream this. And dead. <laughs> That's a little cheap, but you know what? I'll take it. I've never seen that. Stop. That is enough. He just randomly decided on his own to do it. <laughs> ah, you have made so take this. <laughs> I'll take it. That's so that's so random. Now we get to the big one. I will be the judge of your Aeon strength. Are you good enough, I wonder? Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't talk to her anymore. I will oh, no. I can't get I can't enough? get the Maga Sisters right now. I just mm, remembered what I have to do to get the other item. I don't have the other item. You need two items to break this barrier. Uh, use. Aw, I'm not going to get it tonight. I think you have to do the Celestial Mirror stuff. Which I don't... I definitely don't want to do tonight. You know what? Because the Celestial Mirror stuff is more about the ultimate weapons, which I'm not doing in the stream. What I will do is... I will do this off stream. I'll probably do it on Sunday. I will... Do what I have to to get the item and nothing more. If you... That way you don't miss anything. I'll literally just be doing the mirror stuff, which I don't even want to use in this playthrough. I think that's how you get it anyway. And then I will come back here later and get the Maga Sisters. But again, next time I stream will be my stupid, nerdy Blitzball uh, thing. Speaking of which, I need to test something. I might as well do that now. Reset data. Yes. The league just got wiped. Thing is, I have to get rid of people on my team to pick up others. I can only pick up three more people, I think. And then I have to play exhibition matches to get their stuff to expire. Thing is, what happens if your team doesn't have enough people? If I lose one person... I won't be able to play exhibition matches to get them to leave. So I'm going to have to go get three people, play exhibition matches, get people to leave, and then go... Pe it's going to be like a back and forth. Which is unfortunate, but it's what I'm going to have to do. Okay. Everything looks good. I'm going to save it after resetting the league, just in case. Okay. All right. Well, it's been a nice extra long stream tonight, at least for me. Uh... Let's see what I got here. Thank you to uh, Jorts9000 and uh, uh, Waffles Maple Syrup for the follow. Uh, thanks to uh, Jay and Silver for sticking around most of it. Well, yeah, most of the time. Had a few people earlier. Uh, yeah, uh, tomorrow I will be streaming Mass Effect. Uh, I did Novaria last time, which means I unlocked a couple new systems to do side quests. So I'm going to try to do that. And then I will move on to, uh, I will move on to, I think I'm going to do the bringing down the sky DLC next. So it'll be, you know what? I think I'll wait to do the side stuff that I unlocked until I'm done with all of them. Just to do like have another like nice stream of just side stuff. So I'm going to do Vermeer. I'll do bringing down the sky and then Vermeer. And then Pharos if I have time. And then the next stream, I will do all the side stuff that I unlocked and then there'll be end game. I'm surprised that I do. I need to start modding Mass Effect 2 to get ready. I'm not doing anything spectacular with the mods. I'm going to do some visual stuff. 
and I might tweak a few things, but I d- that's the reason why I didn't put the uh, the ha- better handling Mako in uh, one because I wanted to keep it the same feel. I'm not going to change any mechanics. And let me see if anyone's uh, streaming right now that I can uh, raid. Um. Oh. Someone I found on the uh, the Twitch startup thing is playing Outer Worlds right now. Oh, why not? Let me turn that off so I can actually... Uh, there we go. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do this person. They play uh, Destiny Two. Uh, this person's a friend of uh, M, so I started following him. And once again, I can't spell. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, uh, everyone have a good night. I hope to see everyone tomorrow for Mass Effect. I'm going to get a little more information on that whole my channel's being promoted thing by someone, but I'm going to take a look at that. All right, so see everyone tomorrow, hopefully, and especially, hopefully, Tuesday for the Blitzball stuff. Listen to my story. This may be our last chance.